Okay, so today we are going to make insects. And from what I heard from another teacher is that you guys have been talking about insects in your class. So we are going to make insects. Your insect needs to have three parts. It needs to have a head. It needs to have its thorax. And then it needs to have its abdomen. Those are tricky words to say. So when you are drawing your bug, you're going to do each of those three parts. It's an insect and our insects have six legs. It's not a spider. So we need to have six kinds of legs, some antennas. If you wanna give them pinchers, you can. And if you wanna give them the big wings, like I did, you can as well. I've got some different worksheets of all sorts of different kinds of insects. So maybe your insect is gonna have short fat legs, long skinny legs, pinchers, okay? You can kind of create your own insect based on the fact that it's going to have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and it's going to have six legs. Our bugs are going to be symmetrical. And that one was really big. Ours aren't going to be that big. The first thing we're going to do is fold our paper in half and open it. This is marker paper. Now, you guys are going to draw in a pencil. I'm going to draw in a Sharpie so that you can see it. This paper is kind of hard to see the pencil. I'm only going to draw half a bug. So I'm going to draw half my head. I'm gonna draw my thorax and my abdomen. And again, you guys can do this differently. To make my legs, sometimes using a rainbow type shape is a good way to make a leg. Do we have to do that No. Again, I've got all sorts of worksheets that you can look at to get what you want to do for your legs. Can you make your own kind of animal? I have said that now three times. You are making your own insect. Well, does it have to be real? You are making your own insect however you want. But look. I'm only drawing half my insect, so my insect only needs one eye right now. It only needs, I'm only drawing half of my insect right now. If you look at this one, you can see all the great patterns that were drawn. After I draw this half, I'm going to fold my paper in half and this is what the cool part is i'm going to take it to a window i can see mine right now to be able to trace it and you're going to trace it so that when you open it up you have two symmetrical halves So now, when I open my bug up, um, well, his mouth is right there. Once I'm done with that, then I need to start decorating my bug. And I will um, show you how to do that in just a minute.
So last week we made our bugs. If you remember, or our insects, whoops, our insects, we drew half of our bug. We drew a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and then you had to have three legs. And then if you wanted to put pinchers or claws or antennas, you could. We traced it, we kept our paper folded in half, we traced the other side. So today, the first thing we're going to do today is we're gonna turn our bug over and you can still see our bug. You're gonna take your glue stick and you're going to trace around the outside of your bug. Am I putting the glue on the inside? No, just the outside of your bug. And you really want to make sure you get it. The glue dries kind of fast. I'm using that purple glue. You want to go around the outside of your bug. Then you're going to put your paper on top of that and smooth it out. And the reason we're doing this is because we drew ours on marker paper. And marker paper is really thin. By putting this paper underneath it, it's going to make it easier to cut our bug out. It's very important when I cut my bug out that I do not cut on the black line. Look at this bug. See, I left a little bit of a white edge everywhere. And what that does is it just makes it a little bit easier so I know I can leave some of my details and I shouldn't accidentally cut an arm off because I'm leaving a little bit of space. So when you cut it out, you want to leave just a little bit of white showing. Now, I have said this to my other two classes, and somebody always cuts out right on the black. So you want to give yourself a little bit of room. After you cut it out, then you can go back to coloring. Some of you started coloring last week. And again, we kind of made these into symmetrical bugs. So if I color something on one side, I want to do the same on the other. So if I colored this strip purple, and one of the nice things you can do with your marker is you can use the edge of your marker, and that gives it a nice, flat, broad stroke. So again, if you notice on this bug, whatever I colored on this side, I did the same on that side. 